I'm Sir Tap Tap, and welcome back to Monument Valley Forgotten Shores. Let's get started with Chapter 4. Last time somebody stole our hat, but hey, we got it back. Hats are important in this world, apparently. Halkion Heart. Oh, I remember the faucet. So like I said, there's some really cool new uh, gameplay features in this. It really is... Uh, it's really got a lot of new cool stuff, and I can't wait to play Monument Valley too. Uh, I actually have not played Monument Valley. I, I played the first, like, chapter. Uh, it seems really cool, and I don't know why I <laughs> didn't finish playing it. It's, it's one of those things... Honestly, I get this thing where, like, I, I'm really... I know I'll enjoy a thing, and I, like, I'm like, wait, I want to really be in the mood to enjoy this, and then I just don't... I, like, don't play it. It's weird as heck to describe, but it's totally true. Oh, I love the water. I love the... Oh. Look at that. I, I love water in general. Also, one thing I wanted to talk about before I just blab about how beautiful this game is, like always, um, I wanted to say, um, I kind of got reminded how many people look at the comments in YouTube and, like, vote on stuff, but so many people don't leave comments. So, I do want to, oh, it's the water temple. Um, I, um, thought I would start with a little request. Um, I want to know, what have you been playing on your phone lately? And I might just, like, do this every video, I guess, just kind of, uh, hey, what, um, you know, just some kind of a prompt for, guys, how did I, oh, that's from this, right. Just, you know, what have you been doing, what movies have you seen, stuff like that. Um, get the conversation started, and let me remind you, um, <laughs> I haven't seen that many first comments lately either, which I'm so glad for. Please don't do that. Um... If you just say first or something like that, um, I'll probably remove your comment. Um, and I, I don't like to do that, but it's like, it's just garbage that wastes people's time. That's, that's all it is, frankly. Um, and I, I don't want to be wasting people's time. Oh, huh? Um, do we mess with this? Um, <laughs> the puzzle games ruin my ability to speak, that's why you might notice. That's why I usually tend to abstain from puzzle games, even when it's not something crazy difficult. It's like, when you're trying to think about how to do a thing, it, it uses up the brain juice that is otherwise used when speaking. Uh, yeah. I just kind of want to, um, I like hearing from y'all. I like hearing, um, I like reading comments. I read every comment posted uh, on my website and on my YouTube here. So, uh, please don't be shy. Let me, let me know what you thought of the game, of the video. Um, you know, whatever's relevant. And so I'll, I've been trying to kind of do some more professional things on YouTube, right? I've been, there's a, um, I know it's Justin Wong, um, really cool fighting game player. Um, he has kind of this format that he does with his YouTube video tweets. So I was kind of like, hey, I could do something like that. So I've been trying to remember to kind of gussy up the, uh, oop, my, uh, Twitter posts on YouTube, for YouTube videos, um, it's a man, it, I have to do it pretty manually, but, um, you know, the automated posts never get that many engagements anyway, so I've been trying to just do that, and I've also tried to, you know, drive more people to, like, you know, post in the comments, so I wanna, this doesn't have to be a one-way thing, you know, I like hearing people, uh, a lot of the interesting games I found, like, um, I, it's been years, I don't remember who suggested Off, but uh, Off was one of my favorite games that we ever played on this channel, and I do believe it was suggested by a commenter. Um, and if real-time chat is more your thing than comments, check out our Discord, sirtabdown.com slash Discord. How many monuments have you restored? Let me still lie ahead. Okay, so this is in the middle of the, uh, the redemption arc. Forgetful princess confuses past, present, and future. Oh, so it's on purpose that we're not sure if this is after or before. When all sacred geometries return, so too shall be your crown. A dunce cap is like a crown. For idiots. <laughs> like me. We should, we gotta play Echo Chrome, by the way. Has anyone played Echo Chrome? Since we're talking about uh, posts and comments. If you've played Echo Chrome, let me know. I don't think I ever finished Echo Chrome 2. Um, K 
came out kind of late in PS3's lifestyle, their lifestyle, lifespan. Uh, there's a few artsy, kind of puzzly games that I should probably play. Um, one of the reasons I like Sony stuff is because they, um, I haven't seen too many lately from them, honestly. Um, Sony's been quiet, unfortunately, lately. I don't know exactly what the deal is with that, but, um, they, they would do a lot of, um, kind of the artsier games. What, what was it called? There's this, um, what's this? There's a, um, like an invisible little boy trying to find some girl or something. Um, man, I can't remember what exactly the deal is with it, but, uh, uh it was a good game, man. I'm sure it's on my PS... I'm sure it's still on my PS3. Um, and maybe you'll see videos of it pretty soon. I just can't for life me quite remember it. Oh, here we go. I remember this. We gotta break some physical laws. That's kind of what this game is all about, isn't it? So you'll see, you'll see in just a second if you don't already see science. Got a lot of stuff like that. Speaking of the water temple from last time, this, this kind of does sometimes have a uh, Zelda puzzle aesthetic to it, doesn't it? Switching things around and doing stuff. Man, I hope the next... I hope the next Zelda game has some really good dungeons. I, I need some dungeons. Breath of the Wild was great, but... <sighs> I guess the shrines are the replacement for the puzzles, and the shrines were alright. Oh, that glitch again, that's... That's just Nox's fault. Um, it's because I'm not on enhanced compatibility mode. I don't know. It doesn't seem to bug us too much in gameplay, so we're just gonna truck right along. The Lost Falls. I'll oh, see. I say that I I love like more fantastical environments. One thing that's very realistic that I do really like um, this kind of grassy, overgrown ruins aesthetic. Like, uh, totem! Um, like, um, Shadow of the Colossus. Oh, I gotta play that too! I got the, the remake of Shadow of the Colossus for PS4. I really gotta check that out. Um, Shadow of the Colossus, um, The Last Guardian had that vibe too. I guess all of, all of that series? If you want to call it, um, all of their games kind of have that vibe to it. I don't get people that thought The Last Guardian was like too hard to play or whatever. Like, Team Ico's games just kind of are like that. I would say The Last Guardian was probably their least clumsy to play. Maybe Shadow of the Colossus, but like, I played the PS3 version of Shadow of the Colossus, and that game. They, they raise the frame rate, which is usually good, but like a lot of the stuff doesn't work right in it, and it's just really hard to play. So I'm really looking forward to the PS4 version. I'm sure it's a lot less cumbersome. Yeah, Ico was pretty rough. Um, never did finish Ico either. I enjoyed the idea of it more than... It's one of those games where like, I really enjoyed the theory of the game more than I enjoy the practice. That's the... Oh, do we gotta do this? There we go. Thanks, Totem. He's, he's got a pretty big weight on his shoulders. Or head. Is that a head? I guess you can call that a head. More than you could call it shoulders, at least. I love the little pixely bits of the water, by the way. I've said this a million times, but pixel art does not necessarily need to be, like, is not necessarily retro, like, that waterfall, I, I could describe, it's 3D, but, you could describe it as pixel art, like, any still image of it, and, um, but it's not really retro in any way, as it doesn't look like a NES game or any other kind of old console game. You and me, Totem. 
Best friends forever. You're the best totem. Oh, right. <laughs> I was forget you gotta get totem up, too. Like I said, we're in this together. Oh. Totem, come back! No! Totem! Oh. Oh, we fine. I hope Totem's in volume of belly, too. Don't, no spoilers. I... At the time of recording, I genuinely don't know if Totem is in it or not. Maybe there's two totems. I don't. I. I don't know. How do you help me here? Can I like? <laughs> I love. I love stuff like that. This is I love I love puzzle games like you gotta be a little bit creative like that. Alright, buddy. If every puzzle game were as chill as Monument Valley and all like self-contained, I could do a lot more puzzle games. I mean I I Oh his friends Oh the totem on the thing. Is this his birthplace? Is this where he's from? Hey, Totem. It's kind of spooky in here. Oh, I love the spooky ambience. A huge part of horror is like spooky ambience stuff for me. Um, Days Gone doesn't really do music as much as it does like ambient sounds and stuff. I mean, for the kind of game it is, that's fine. But if you really want something more like disturbing kind of horror, like Silent Boom. Um, you really gotta have some ominous, like, oh. <laughs> Music. Ow. Totem! You okay? You, you good? I'm sorry. I didn't. I, I'm so. No! Totem! Okay, that was a bad idea. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. I mean, he's like a giant magical totem. I don't even... Can you even hurt that? Wait, at the bottom of a waterfall. I think... I think this is the first time we found him. And then we find totem again. I think this is before regular Monument Valley. So he should be fine. Still... <laughs> I still feel bad for him, but... I don't know why I assume the totem is male. I guess just the yellowness. Yellow yellow and blue. It's kind of masculine colors. Not that gendered colors really make a lot of sense anyway. But uh, it's just one of those things. Honestly, I probably just assume it because, you know, I'm a guy. I just, you know, failing any other, like, indications either way. Um, do you ever notice that? You kind of just assume that the generic, the generic other is you. Um, if you describe, if you were to describe like just a random person, just imagine any person in the world. Just imagine a person going out and performing a regular task. Who do you think of? Probably somebody that looks a lot like you. Probably somebody within your height range. Probably your gender. Probably roughly the same skin color. All of that stuff. It's just... We just kind of think of ourselves as the default, even if we're not. Nobody is. There is no default. So, you gotta think of something, right? And I mean, what else would you think of but yourself? So, it makes sense. Sometimes it ends up with unfortunate things, like if you get a lot of similar people making a project, you know, they don't even think about, okay, you know, people that aren't like us are gonna play the game. Maybe. Maybe we should have some different options, like Animal Crossing. <laughs> took freaking forever for Animal Crossing to get skin color options and all of that kind of stuff. But hey, we got it in um, New Horizons. Anyway, like I've been trying to say, we're going to try to focus on 15 minute videos. And we're right at the edge of 15 minutes. So, thanks for watching. Um, leave a comment if you want. Let me know what, uh, what mobile games you've been playing. I um, always love reading comments. And join the Discord! So taptap.com, Discord, there's always a link in the description. Check out the descriptions, actually. 
I, um, I actually put some information in there. I usually try to have a link to the game, to the Discord, Patreon, all of that kind of stuff. So, see you next video. All right, gamers, remember to like, subscribe, and smash that bell. Frog, what are you doing in my house? I, I, I would just get out.